Welcome back to the channel today. Valby Run was nerfed and I've been looking at where else we can have a good Kuiper Shard farm and also a relatively good gold farm at the same time time all outposts have been nerfed so i've gone and taken a look at all the other missions and everything where we do usual farms collated all the information and i'm going to let you guys know which is the best before we go any further into the video dpj wants to thank you for all your support that he's had on this game and he's giving away ultimate descendants every week unlike most people his giveaways are actually legit and he's going to be picking on a weekly basis for people who like and comment on his videos the more he sees of you the more chance of you winning and winners will be picked and announced at the end of every week and also go join the discord it's linked below and help him build his amazing first descendant army so first let's look at valby Run, which is over on fortress in the defense line area and this vorgus outpost so previously, this used to give a lot. Now, it gives slightly less, but it's also random. So you can no longer really get an efficient farm out of this, but it's still a very good farm. And what I mean by this is there are less enemies spawning. On top of that, those enemies will drop a reduced amount of rewards in terms of quantity, but also will drop it less as well. However, I have found over multiple attempts of this, my Kuiper and Gold to be drastically different every single time I do the exact same farm. For instance, one run, my Kuiper was 11,900 and 205,000 gold. And then on another run, it was 15,500 Kuiper. This guy just keeps dying. Uh, 15,500 Kuiper and 187,000 gold. So you can see that there's drastically different results there. So over the space of an hour, you should roughly get anywhere between 220,000 Kuiper Shards and 310,000 Kuiper Shards. This is pre-dismantling any mods and also as well the base level, no boosts whatsoever. And for gold, you should get anywhere close to 4 million with the potential of getting 5.5 million if you are very, very lucky with how much drops for you. So it's a big difference between what it was before because before gold was around about 7 million minimum and close to like 10 million if you do get lucky with drops and such things and kuiper shards was also a lot higher so this still is a very good build it's just more in line with all the other builds that we <clears throat> so this is still a very good farm but it's just more in line now with all of the other farms that are in the game but it is still one of if not the best but let's talk about the other ones as well so yes we know it we love it over on sterile land we go to the repository and we go to the kuiper mine mission now i farmed this completely solo and i got quite decent rewards to be fair now my valby is not built to have the longest skill duration and longest range on that duration but it is still pretty good with multiple aoe people in this mission I know I could get a lot more than what I got. So this mission is <clears throat> one of the older Kuiper Shard farms and it's still a really good Kuiper Shard farm. However, the gold is a little bit lacking in comparison to everywhere else. But I think the Kuiper Shard being as, you know, as efficient as it is, as often as it does come out to be similar amounts, this is one of the most consistent Kuiper Shard farms. Now, solo playing this over the space of five minutes, I got 20,000 Kuiper Shards on one single run i know i can get close to 27,000 with a full team who are completely covering every single spawn and killing every single enemy instantly you know so let's average that out to let's just say 24,000. so again you will fall anywhere between 240,000 kuiper shards and 330,000 kuiper shards you know just as a rough estimate so kuiper shards more consistent on this farm and slightly more than Valby Run if you are having a full good team of four AoEs. And as for gold, I got 300,000 on one of my runs and I've got 325,000 on other runs. So you're going to see roughly about 4 million gold depending on how lucky you are. So not too dissimilar to Valby Run, but obviously Valby Run just has a little bit more. But Kuiper Shards here are definitely going to happen more often. You're definitely going to get more drops. So whether you want Kuiper Shards or gold, really up to you where you go but i think right now if you wanted to get a good proper farm for everything involved valby run is still 
slightly better than this. However, this is a great alternative. And there's usually a lot of people farming this, like there is Valby Run. But you can still get slightly more Kuiper than Valby Run here for an hour's worth of farming. So now we move over on Sterile Land to Rock Fall, and we're going to go do this mission for the anticipated ambush points. I did this solo. And I was quite happy with the results, but it's kind of the reverse of the Kuiper mission we just did because of the simple fact that this gives you less Kuiper shards, but gives you more gold. I was doing it solo. When you're with other people, especially a bunny, you are going to absolutely destroy this whole mission. This can be done in less than 30 seconds. I was taking about 35 to 40 seconds solo, so I could probably get even more than what I predict from my solo results. Now, my solo results were simple. I got over the space of about 40 seconds 1,400 Kuiper and in gold I got 37,000 gold. So that will average out to about 170,000 to 200,000 Kuiper per hour before dismantling mods and around about 4 million gold. Now if you do this in a team of people and what I was getting in 40 seconds you could get more of in 20 seconds you are going to see a dramatic jump in those rewards. I feel like you could probably get close to 400,000 Kuiper Shards with the like utmost top of the range, top tier builds farming and close to probably about 6 million, 6.5 million gold. That's, a, that's an estimate. But from what I've experienced with all of these farms and I've done them so many times, I feel like this is a really, really fast, easy, good way to get all of the Kuiper Shards and gold that you need. However, you do need particularly a very, very powerful bunny. All the other farms, you don't really need bunny. This one is just a lot easier with bunny because you can just kill everything instantly. Then a problem poses because if the bunny's running around killing things too quickly, it's harder for you to join in the fight, which means you're going to get less XP and stuff as well. Now we move to our final little farm that is on Echo Swamp. It is a mission called Abandoned Refinery Unit. This mission needs two or three top tier bunnies but it will be your highest rewards possible i ran this on my character and i was completing it in just over a minute with valby and valby even though she's great at aoe you really need burst damage for this mission to be able to take out as many things as possible as quick as possible just like this bunny you can see that he's going to take out all of these things so quickly way quicker than i could on my valby which means this whole mission can be ran in about 30 seconds but as a solo player in this time frame that it took me just over a minute i was getting 4,000 kuiper which equates to about 240,000 an hour before dismantling mods and i was getting 70,000 gold which equates to around about 4.2 million gold per hour solo for a minute's work now when you do this in about 30 seconds it's not going to quite double the rewards but theoretically it can double those rewards because, you know, if you get top tier luck of everything possible, then obviously you are going to, you know, get double the amount of what I got at my best one minute run. You should be looking at 500,000 Kuiper Shards with bunnies farming this over and over again. And probably roughly about six to seven million an hour. Like these are estimates, don't get me wrong. But just based on logic and understanding of the game, this is by far the best for Kuiper and for gold. But you are required to have big big bunnies with big big builds any of the other ones do work for any single character except the one you know doesn't require a bunny but it's just better off having a bunny so you gotta pick and choose now what farm you're gonna use but pretty much all of them are the same give or take on average typical experience they're pretty much the same I think for convenience and ease of access, Valby Run is going to be the favorite still for a long time. If anyone wants to go hardcore grinding, this one is definitely the best. And any other ones, you know, you could just casually farm and chill and not have to worry too much and still get a decent amount of gold and Kuiper. And that is the video that is some of the farms that we've known in the past, what they're like now in comparison to Valby Run. And honestly, Valby Run, still the best. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you think. What missions are you running? And do you know of any secret ones that nobody's ever found before? Let me know down below in the comments. Thank you for watching. I've been easy now. You guys have been awesome.